Hey guys, welcome to Know Your Scissor episode three. This episode, we're gonna focus on the Ichi Nino San number one scissor. Uh, thing I love most about this scissor is it was the second scissor I ever got from Mizutani and the whole staff was raving about this one. The reason it's so great is because the cut feels so smooth, like butter, right, Dre? So it's, it, it's so soft when you cut into the hair, that's why I love it so much. It does have a little push to the hair, but I think it's okay and you don't have to really worry about that. It's, it's deadly sharp. Um, so key points I, that I love about this. The handle is fantastic because of the way that, and if that can get in here, uh, the way that the edge of the finger holes bevel over. So there's no sharp edges on this scissor whatsoever. It's another part of the handmade uh, crafting of a Mizutani scissor is because they go into so much detail. Somebody by hand is creating all of these nice edges. So when you put your fingers in, it sits really nice into the scissor. The other thing is it has a removable tang, whether you like that or not. Uh, you could get that changed. It would just take a lot longer uh, because again, these are all handmade. Uh, but the removable tang is nice uh, on the scissor. This is the 5.5 inch. I'm a, I'm a pretty big, uh, if, if I'm gonna have my standard scissor, the one I'm gonna use all the time, I usually go 5.5 because it's good for uh, scissor over comb a little bit. Uh, you can get through it, but it's also really good for precision cutting, dry cutting, uh, because the blade isn't too long um, and isn't too short. So it's a pretty good size for me. In beauty school, they always talk about measuring the scissor in your hand. It's all a lie. It really has nothing to do. Every handle is the same, so blade length doesn't matter. So just so if you guys are learning that right now, don't pay attention to that because you're gonna need scissors in all different sizes for different techniques, right? So um, the other thing that I love is it has the embedded screw in the, uh, in the middle here, in the middle. Um, the thing I like about that is it doesn't get hair caught in it. Uh, it's just got a nice sleek look to it. You can also see the fatness of the blade. It has a lot of power all the way through the blade. So um, it gets a little bit skinnier towards the tip, which I like because it allows for more uh, point cutting, detail around the neckline, all of that. So it's just a really, really cool scissor. All right, so the deal, so we do the show, we talk about all the details of the scissor. So I told you everything I love about it. Now the fun part of the show is for the next week, I'm gonna offer this scissor at a special crazy price that you guys can go get, crazy. Uh, so here's the price. So it's normally a $450 scissor, which is already um, pretty awesome in the Mizutani world. Uh, we're gonna offer this at $360 for one week. So hopefully they have enough supply of these, didn't even ask. Uh, but this is your chance to have an Ichinino san number one scissor for $360. Go to freesaloneducation.com or click the scissor right now. It's okay, Dad, you don't even have to move it. I'll put a little thing around it. And then um, this show, it'll take you right to, um, just click the Know Your Scissor logo at any point, and it'll take you to the shop so you can see the scissor and make your decision. Uh, remember, if you get the gold or the black version of this scissor, it could take up to 30 to 60 days as a special order, but the silver edition should be available right now. So uh, there you go, that's the show. If you have any other questions about the scissor, please post them in the comments below. Um, we can go over, I can answer anything. I've used it for a long time uh, and I really love this scissor a lot. So. Uh, yeah, any other questions, any other scissors you wanna see, make sure you post them below in the comments, whether you're on Facebook or uh, YouTube, and also uh, any scissors you wanna see in the future, post them below and uh, we'll get to those as we go. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next Know Your Scissors show, thanks.